This Engineering is Elementary digital how-to will demonstrate how to use the filter holder to test filter materials, as described in Lesson 3 of Water Water Everywhere, Designing Water Filters. The procedure shown in this video is also used to test water filter designs in Lesson 4. For the testing described in Lesson 3, students will work in groups of three. Each group of three students will need the following materials. One completed filter holder, a clock with secondhand or stopwatch, and either clear packing tape or an optional filter holder stand, as prepared in the Designing Water Filters How-To, Constructing the Filter Holder. You should also prepare one materials pan or basin for each group of students, according to the teacher guide. Students should hold the filter holder with the drain facing down and use packing tape to mount the filter holder to a desk or chair leg. Make sure the filter holder is taped in a vertical position and that the tape does not squeeze the bottle. A basin should then be placed underneath the filter holder drain. The basin is not shown in this video, so the view is not obstructed. For each student group, distribute their assigned type of contaminated water. Next, tell students what their assigned roles will be during testing. Each group will have one student assigned to be the pourer, one student assigned to be the collector, and the remaining student will be the timer. The first material tested in Lesson 3 will be the screen. One student should place the screen on top of the filter holder, pushing it in slightly. The screen should rest near the top of the filter holder and should not fold over onto itself. The pourer will shake the contaminated water bottle and pour this water into the contaminated water cup until the marked line is reached. Next, the collector will position the collection cup labeled screen underneath the drain of the filter holder. Before testing can begin, ask all students performing the three rolls to get ready for your cue. The pourer in each group should be ready to empty their contaminated water cup into the filter holder. The collectors should be ready to observe and announce precisely when the filtered water reaches the line on the collection cup. The timers should be ready to count the seconds between when you start the test and when the filtered water has reached the marked line. On the count of three, the pourers empty their contaminated water cups while the timers begin counting seconds using the clock or stopwatch. The collectors announce to the group when the collected water reaches the line and the timers observe and record the elapsed time. The collection cup should then be removed from underneath the filter holder. Allow the remaining water dripping from the filter holder to collect in the basin. If the inside of the filter holder is noticeably dirty after testing, students might need to wipe it down with a paper towel before testing the next material. To test the paper filters in Lesson 3, prepare the stack of paper filters by pushing them down into the bottom of the filter holder. Follow the same testing procedure that was used to test the screen. To test the sand and gravel filter materials, it is important to position the gravel under the sand. First, pour the aquarium gravel into the bottom of the filter holder. Then, slowly pour the undyed art sand on top of the gravel. Next, follow the same testing procedure that was used to test the screen and paper filters. If you choose to prepare the optional filter holder stand, Students begin by positioning the collection cup inside the basin. Next, the filter holder stand is placed over the collection cup. Students then slide the filter holder into the stand, so it rests vertically with the drain facing down. Now, the filter material being tested is placed in the correct place in the filter holder, as demonstrated earlier. When using the filter holder stand, the testing procedure is similar to the previous video.
The collector announces when the line of the collection cup has been reached, and the timer records the elapsed time. Now, after the timed test, the collection cup should be removed for later observation. To do this, one student should hold and raise the filter holder and the filter holder stand together, while another student removes the collection cup from the basin. The rest of the water inside the filter holder will drain into the basin.